the journey with Harwell started back in 2017. One project led to another and led to another, and we eventually secured a framework here to deliver three projects. You can take people from a construction background, you can take people from a scientific background and create really high performing teams. We've been here for five years and we've been working on construction delivery for the last three. The National Satellite Test Facility, as the name describes or suggests, is a specific area for testing satellites. This building is for testing quite large satellites, up to about seven tonnes in mass, the large space test chamber where we uh, put the satellite into a giant vacuum and freeze it down to as close as we can get to absolute zero to simulate outer space. We've been working with industry suppliers from across the globe that have been integrating the largest thermal vacuum chamber that's ever been built in the UK. It allows us to demonstrate to our clients we can build the biggest and the most complicated projects. So unique in terms of a facility that RAL Space will use for a satellite that isn't yet invented. Taking MACE to space uh, for the National Satellite Test Facility, uh, certainly a new one for my CV. The Rosalind Franklin was set up to look in life in five dimensions, so how things move, and that's X, Y, Z, how they change over time, but also, crucially, the chemistry of those things. What we do here is all high risk and highly innovative. Our experience in delivering this project has put us in a really good position to understand the challenges around delivering and facilitating research in this field. Collaboration between the sciences, industry, research and education. At the RFI and on all MACE projects, we utilise MACE's environmental reporting platform called Optimise, and this is to verify performance against key KPIs such as carbon, water and waste. We sat down with the architects and team from MACE and designed this building from scratch. We were all in the same room at the same time, so the building delivers a science mission. It's aesthetically pleasing, but crucially, it was also buildable. EPAC is unique, and it's the first facility really that's dedicated to the development and exploitation of what we call plasma-based accelerators. They're extremely energetic, extremely bright, so they're very good for imaging things. What makes this project unique is the, the complexity of services, because uh, on technically challenging projects like this, there is not uh, much space for, for mistakes when it comes to coordination of services. So that makes the, the use of uh, 3D models even more important. The construction industry is absolutely unique, not only the project itself, but, but the journey to be involved so early and to carry it all the way through. I don't think there's a day that goes by when I'm at work when I don't speak to my client. The relationships that we've established are absolutely second to none. This the combination of new technology and a dedicated facility. It's been an excellent experience. The breakthrough with the dipole technology absolutely supports the MACE ambitions to be at the forefront of the construction industry and at the forefront of innovation. Bringing the capability here to the United Kingdom under one roof reduces the risks, reduces the costs and will allow the United Kingdom space industry to flourish with these new facilities. Every single one of these buildings is groundbreaking in its own way. We're standing in the Franklin Institute where they work with AstraZeneca, they work with Oxford University, developing therapeutic drugs that can help with the COVID-19 recovery. We're already seeing the work that we've done starting to influence the world in which we live. The building is a marvel in that it's very efficient, 10% more efficient than anything else in the public sector in terms of space active usage. It is also delivered to time and to budget. And as you can see around you, it's fantastically highly serviced for science.